In any case, though, we're going to have an amazing set between these two amazing players. Broza, take us away, man. What an amazing set. But ladies and gentlemen, I do have some unfortunate news. I just received word. Jabaley has tripped and fallen. I must go pick him up. I will be right back. That was way more work than I thought it was going to be. <sighs> All right, we got the right music this time? Great. All right, the Japanese enthusiast from Loft House, Cosmos. I love that man. Rosa Main's got to stick together I like that. I don't but think can, I can do that. But can the Buzz overcome this powered up Super Saiyan 3 Cosmos right now? I, I, I guess we'll find out here. I, got, I want to make sure he's okay, man. That, I saw that vein. You know. He's powered up, dude. I guess you got to do what you got to do, it. man. He needed it. You got to make this sacrifices is, to get this, the power. This right. is the double-edged sword, right? If he, if, he, if he doesn't overcome this hurdle, then he's gonna be exhausted, you know. That's how it works. That's true, yeah. But he's putting all, he's putting everything on the line right here to overcome this behemoth in Smash Four. That is the Buzz, another one of the players trying to gun for that number one spot. He's a very, very consistent season so far. Has failed, I believe. I don't think he's placed outside of top eight this entire season. No, the Buzz has had an amazing season. As per usual, man, he's considered one of the most consistent players in Smash Four for yep. good reason. He's shown it again this season. Uh, Cosmos, on the other hand, like we talked about earlier, game five sets between these two players many, many times. Just even just last week, man. 
such a close set. Talking to Cosmos, he says, uh, you know, mid-set, he starts off the set very strong, then in the middle of the set, he starts, uh, I guess his mentality starts to fade a little bit. It's, it's, it's an endurance match, you know, mm -hmm. it's a... That's a marathon, not a sprint when you're playing against the Buzz for sure. Yeah. Uh, but he says he's able to bring it back in the end, but the Buzz somehow always clutching it out. Yeah, especially since between these two, the Buzz is definitely the more seasoned veteran. You know, Cosmos has really only been traveling. He's been on that relentless grind over the past couple of years, but the Buzz, seasoned brawl veteran, been around for a very, very long time. Yeah, man, these new players, these new players coming out for Smash 4. Really giving, uh, giving these older players a run for their money, man. As we Absolutely. see here, this uh, our second match of winner semis here. CEO, top eight in their little hand warmer right now. I appreciate that they're doing the hand warmer on Gal Plains. I just recognize this music from Xenoblade. You would, man. Of course. <laughs> That's a good game. It is a good game. I, I played it, yeah. I didn't beat it, though, but I played it. Good game. So, DeBuzz, Rosalina, very obviously Cosmos. Corrin, again, very obviously. Yep. Don't think we're going to see any other characters this set. Uh, oh, on paper, man. Tell me what it's like. All right. So in terms of this matchup dynamic, I know that actually, uh, historically, Corrin is a character that often gives Rosalina trouble. But DeBuzz being such a high caliber player that he is, pretty much one of the only characters I say that gives DeBuzz trouble nowadays in particular is Cloud. I feel like he's really beginning to overcome the Corrin Demon bit by bit. That said though, Cosmos always on the grind, as I said before, so he will try his best to make the Buzz's life hard. That pin from Corrin is so good at getting rid of Luma and breaking through the Rosalina defensive wall. Yeah, I think we saw that, uh, I believe it was, was it yesterday? I mean, it was Friday. We saw that a lot coming to play um, when he was playing another Rosalina player. I believe it was Fallen, unless that was last week. In any case, so we obviously the pin such a, a good tool to use in neutral, not just you know, not just in the, in the matchup in general. Uh, obviously, in this matchup, Luma has a really hard time dealing with it. Our, first, our second matchup winner semis, guys. The Buzz versus Cosmos. I'm expecting the game five. We see, of course, already off the bat, we see these fast Corrin aerials trying to frame trap the Buzz as he tries to land. But the Buzz is so, so aware and good with his landings, nonetheless. Yeah, man, even in the first 10 seconds, we see already a Luma gone, and another Luma is back. There's, there's the second one Luma is gone. gone. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. So the Buzz is going to have to play this matchup a little bit different uh, than what he's probably used to doing. You know, anybody can KO. Oh, that is oh that's it. Yep. That's Swift it. KO coming out from Cosmos right there. Unable to weave past the Dragon Fang shot, he is able to capitalize in full force. So I wonder if he tried to gravitational pull it, but maybe missed his input because he, he kind of just jumped into it. Yeah, quite possibly either a missed input or maybe he missed input the air dodge. We will never know. Yeah, I'm sure either way, Cosmos is not going to complain about that as he's on the stock here with only 42% on this stock. That's that though, Cosmos hasn't been able to get a hit in. The Buzz has been in the, in the driver's seat so far. It's just a matter of time. Once he lands his feet on the stage, the pins are coming out. At the buzz, sending Luma. Oh, trying to put Luma, you know, create, create some distance between himself and Cosmos with Luma in the middle. But uh, again, Luma, non factor so often in this match. Yeah, definitely a worthwhile trade for Cosmos right there, taking the back air in order to get rid of the Luma. Cosmos trying to call out a roll right there. The buzz does not bite, so he grabs in the wrong direction. Oh, God, he just runs past Luma. He was no fear at all. Yeah, those back airs coming out from Buzz trying to get Luma to back air, maybe hit Cosmos from behind. Uh oh, gets the air dodge. So I think that's one thing we saw, we picked up on the, the last match we commentated from Cosmos. He likes to counter attack. If he's not going to air dodge, he'll counter attack instead because he knows, you know, if I'm either if I don't air dodge or I don't counter attack, I'm going to get hit anyway. Yeah. You know? So. And Cosmos, uh, Cosmos and Corrin get so much off of his attacks. You know, once he puts it, once he puts you into that disadvantageous position. He is able to capitalize spectacularly with those giant disjointed aerials of Corrin. That was the rawest forward smash I've ever seen, and it just Up destroyed here. the buzz. <laughs> he recognized the distance between them was perfect for a forward smash. It went right through, right over Luma's head. It's not going to protect you from that, man. Cosmos takes game number one clean fashion. Yes, very, very dominant game one coming out from Cosmos, but we do know the buzz to be a very analytical player, a very, that, very adaptive player. He's already got his thinking cap on. No more laptop, though. I think Bear, Bear must have banned that. I missed the laptop, dude. I missed the laptop, too. Yeah. Game number two here, guys. Let's see if the buzz has made any adjustments. Uh, it's hard, though. You didn't really have a lot of time to, to learn anything in that first match. You know, Cosmos was all over him. Final destination. Why do you think we're seeing this here? It's 
from the, this is the buzz is kind of big also. Mm. Maybe he felt that uh, Corrin benefited a little bit too much from those platforms and simply wanted to go to a flat stage where he'd have more room to breathe, possibly. Yep. I think those uh, up air KOs are not going to play as big as a uh, big as a factor here in the Smile Destination. Very hard to get high up there for the upper KO, but uh, Cosmos is going to have a much harder time landing in those juggle situations. So. Good spot dodges coming out from Cosmos, ready for the Luna landing into the grab. But the Buzz still able to get a punish. Luma taking that Dragon Fang shot. What a what a supportive little star it is. Yeah, it looked like, it looked like the Buzz dropped shield on that, but then Luma ended up getting it first. Hmm. Well, that, he's just all over him, man. The Buzz now himself uh, in that situation having a hard time landing because he doesn't have the Luma to cover him. Yeah, just these giant aerials and this giant pin from Corrin. So, so hard, even with... A player like the Buzz, who is so good for the most part in disadvantage, is really having a hard time getting around Cosmos' offense. Yeah, the Buzz doing his best to try to space out attacks, but also keep Luma alive. That dash attack is not going to do it. Yeah, Corrin's dash attack, probably one of the uh, lesser moves in her kit, not quite as good as the rest. But the pin, always getting that sweet spot. Cosmos absolutely on point at the moment. Stage break. Pardon the pun, but great tech, but the back air still at the ready. Yep, I love it. The, the, he gets the stage spike, but the tech actually put him in a situation to get the KO anyway. It's very, like, what do you do? How do you get out, man? It's very hard. Once again, we see Cosmos up a stock here only. Only 62%. That's really nothing for, for Corrin, you know? Love the high recovery coming out from Cosmos. Great. Dual purpose. Dual purpose hitting, hitting that, the buzz away, but also getting rid of that Luma. And, uh, God. Yeah, fantastic coverage from Corrin. Just, this is looking very, very dominant for Cosmos at the moment. I was not expecting this so far, DC, honestly. I, I told you, man, he told me before this match started, he starts off the set very strong, and then, uh, you know, it's hard. The buzz, uh, he gets more defensive, he evens out the set, and then uh, you see a game number five. So let's see if he can close this out before he gets uh, a little mentally tired or the buzz can run it back. The buzz getting quite a few good hits in here right now. Definitely out. Up smash death percent is Corrin. Yeah, the Buzz doesn't have to share about this first stock before he even starts thinking about taking the game. And the Buzz has yet to take a single stock in this set as of yet. Ooh, a bit too ambitious with that up smash. And that is going to lead to an off stage situation for Rosalina. Very, very scary. Once again, the left trap situation and no tech coming out this time. Two two stops in a row coming out from Cosmos. This has been the right. most one-sided. Forget set of everything I said about the game number five. I don't even think. You know, I think we we're just barely seeing a game number three here. You know, no stocks taken by the Buzz at all yet. What is his counter pick? What does he do? He's thinking. Cosmos looking very comfortable. I I would be too, man. Will he want to maybe opt for a tri plat stage? We know characteristically Rosa is very good on those stages, but. The Buzz might not be comfortable going onto one with Corrin. And yes, we see the run back, fi back to Final Destination in this Game 3. How will the Buzz make the necessary adjustments to bring this forth to extra games? I'm spooked, man. That, that, that last match wasn't looking too pretty for the Buzz. He was definitely having a hard time keeping him alive, obviously. And uh, even landing himself in the situations. I, I think he'd probably be expecting Cosmos having a hard time landing, but... There it is. That said, though, at the moment, Cosmos is the one having a hard time landing. 61% unanswered so far. Yeah, he was missing a lot of these offstage uh, off attacks. Looking for those down there, but it seems like Cosmos smelling them out and always able to avoid them. Yeah, this is definitely looking a lot better for the Buzz, though. Yeah, excellent juggles coming out from him, but two instapins getting some good damage and getting rid of that Luma with that back air. Finally. I feel like Corrin was just created to get rid of Luma. Every single one of her attacks, you know, sends Luma so far. And, and they're relatively safe too because the person. Oh, he no. went for something very, very oh. ballsy right there, but oh. missing the mark, he did realize that he had his resources so he could commit to that option. I do like, yeah, I do like he knows the exact distance where he just barely recovered because that those are definitely some magnet hands saving his life right there. Oh, the missed timing of that in spin right there. Had he timed that kick a little bit later, he would have been able to get the KO, but that Luma disposed of nonetheless. Pinned onto the stage, missing the tech once again, does the buzz. Not very characteristic of him. And once again, Cosmos takes the lead in this game. Oh, and Corrin just has so many attacks. The ledge guard goes lean. I know Hitbox has to worry about the neutral arrow hook from behind. Oh, Excellent back. answer coming off the ledge with the ledge jump down air. One of the critical ledge jump options from Rosalina. And again, the buzz missing these offstage attacks, not able to close up any stocks like you'd normally see Rosalina doing, you know? Mm. Beautiful delay on that pink pick right there. 
Going off stage this time with that back air. Most likely cautious of the Luma. A big gap between the two. Oh, very, I love very that. Nice. Did not get distracted by the Luma coming up behind him. He said, I'm going to go straight for you to buzz. End the stock. I won't have to worry about Luma at all. You're dead. Yeah. And I love that too because he was still aware of the Luma. He kind of conditioned the buzz to make him think that he wasn't ready for the Luma. But instead, he was the one that set up the trap. And the buzz fell for a hook, line, and sinker. And there he goes again. Another Luma taken away. And uh, has, uh, has the buzz in another juggle situation. 46% from that interaction. What's it right, Read the roll back. Great stuff from the buzz. Not enough just yet. No Luma present. This is it. This is the buzz's time, man. He's a shell in stock right now. There he is, finally. Buzz taking his first stock of the set. But still, this could possibly be his last stock of winner's bracket. Yeah, he's going to need to get some... He's going to need to make magic happen here with Rosalina at her star. This is easily Cosmos' game to lose here. You'd have to make a pretty big... Uh, you'd have to make a lot of mistakes in neutral to, you know, for the Buzz to catch up in percentage. He's doing such a great job of taking out Luma, so I don't know how the Buzz is going to do it. Yeah, the way that he is maintaining advantage, it really feels like he's got the Buzz playing scared at the moment. The Buzz finally landing a hit with 100%. This is such a deficit for him. Just missing out on that dash attack cancel grab, but the juggle, the juggles. Double oh air God. dodge is going to keep him alive, but for how long? Another juggle situation. Oh no. Attacking on that damage, the Luma up air, not enough just yet. All these up airs coming out from the Buzz, and suddenly this is an even game, DC. Oh, classic the Buzz fashion. He has brought this one back, and all he needs is one good read here. That up throw will not be enough just yet, but the Luma will save the Buzz from a juggle situation. And what now? Oh, but that it's the pin kick should yes, be it. Yes, it is. And that is the set three zero to Cosmos. This is a massive victory for him. He is finally moving forward to face MK Leo in winners finals. That power up that yep. he got in his entrance was enough to take the set for him. He went even further beyond, man. That's what we saw in that set. Two two stocks in a row, followed by a, a solid but close game number three. Three you know the three zero over the buzz. This man has gone to game five in the last four sets they've played. But that wasn't even, you know, watching that set, I, I 